Thank you, Chairperson. On behalf of the United European Left, I want to welcome this report, but with some reservations. We utterly condemn the ideology and tactics of Daesh. All of us need to stand against fundamentalism, bigotry, sectarianism, and racism. Daesh was born during the Iraqi insurgency that followed the USA and Britain's illegal invasion of Iraq in 2003. Daesh and other fundamentalist groups thrive on the chaos and destruction wrought on Iraq, Syria, Libya, and elsewhere in the Middle East as a direct result of Western military and political interference. This reality cannot be ignored. The other reality that cannot be ignored is that jihadist groups like Daesh have been covertly supported by Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and others. I heard testimony yesterday from a representative of the Democratic Society Movement of 3,000 Daesh members fighting alongside the invading Turkish army at Afrin in Syria. Serious questions need to be asked about the funding and arming of, of groups such as Daesh. The Council of Europe and other international organizations need to firmly and clearly stop allowing these countries and their citizens to provide logistical and financial support to Daesh and other extreme Wahhabi groups. In 2016, Chairman, this Assembly passed Resolution 2090 on combating terrorism while upholding human rights standards, a resolution championed by Tinney Cox. This resolution referred to the urgent need to cut off the financial lifelines to Daesh and also highlighted the role of foreign fighters. Some member states have failed to abide by this resolution. A lot of weapons sent by the Council of Europe states to rebel forces in Syria have been captured by Daesh. This allowed them to capture territory and carry out their genocidal attack on Christians, Kurds, and Yazidis. I want to pay particular credit to the Kurdish YPG forces who have bravely and successfully fought Daesh in Syria. It is hugely important to cut off the revenue streams of Daesh and other extreme jihadist groups. And in this respect, I welcome the report's call for the swift implementation of the Financial Action Task Force standards worldwide. But it's also extremely important to tackle the covert support they receive from nation states. It is this political, financial, and military support that allows them to operate. All members of this assembly should unite to condemn the use of jihadist groups as proxy forces in the geopolitical battles taking place in the Middle East and North Africa. The assembly should particularly condemn the Turkish government's covert support for these groups, along with Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries.